Hallelujah. Right to the point, your name and what the Lord has done, sir. Blessings, grace and peace. My name is Ashton Lang. Uh, I was born in America, but raised in the Bahamas. Came back to America. And um, came from a very dysfunctional family. My, my father was a drug dealer and ended up on crack cocaine, so on and so forth. Um, I followed that same pattern. Unfortunately, I was to a point where I was eaten out of garbages. I was um, in mental institutions, walking around the streets of America in Miami barefoot. I, would, I wouldn't shower for near months. Um, you name it, been through it. I've been kidnapped three different times, taken out into the woods, um, beaten, so on and so forth, but God. However, I was raised in a Christian home, even though it, it, there was still a seed, a righteous seed. And, and then the Bible says, and the Bible tells us that before you was in your mother's womb, I knew you. And I ordained you a prophet unto the nations. And so, he said, train up a child in the way she go, and in the end it will not depart. So, I knew to run back to him. So, in 2020, I came, I ran into prison. And I said, okay, God, I, I need you. Well, from 2020 to 2022, I, I, I was fighting, but I was zealous and passionate. However, Paul talks about being zealous but without knowledge. And so even though there were people in my family, sincerely, they, they didn't have what was needed. So in 2022, after falling down and getting back up and falling down and getting back up, I came to the end of myself. I said, God, something has to change. I'm desiring in you. I'm, you know what I mean? Sometimes we follow that pattern. I'm jumping. I'm sowing seeds. Bam, bam, bam. Nothing just working. I keep on falling down. But one day, my, my girlfriend at the time, she said, babe, I need you in 2022. She said, I want you to listen to someone. And I was like, who you need me to listen to now? Note and be, note that this is in prison. This is, this is no, this, I'm not on TV or I'm watching TV. This is in prison. And she said, this is an African preacher. I said, man, I don't want to hear no African preacher right now, man. And so she says, she says, no, babe, I'm telling you. From the minute I heard Apostle Joshua's voice. I said, I'm going to go so that I'm going I listened to the message. When I listened to the message, I said, babe, I found him. That's the real deal. From that minute on, for months, it's not cheap to use the phone in prison. But I listened to him over and over. And now watch this. I came out of prison last year, February, right? I end up because I don't have any education, so on and so forth. I had to work at waste management throwing garbage and so even though the money was okay and I was taking care of my home and everything eventually uh, working I became very laborious I would be working garbage juice would be splashing in my face uh, but at the same time I had the opportunity to put air buds in my ears and so while I was while I was while I was listening to the while while I, this was going on and I was going through the struggle I would listen to three, four sermons per day by Apostle Joshua Selman. And I remember when he said, he talked about how he had a condition in his head and he was, he was in the back of the class, but he would speak in tongues. He would talk about how he was driving the bicycle in the rain. And so I said, oh, now I understand. When I encounter trials and tribulation, I can, I can battle with the word. That when men said there's a casting, I mean, men said there's a casting down, you said that there's a lifting up. And I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And so I would listen to the sermons. And when I can connected with him, I connected with Nathaniel Bassi. And so I was just listening to music. My wife, I listened to the music so much, she said, baby, you soon be an African. I said, it is what it is. <laughs> so, but this is the thing. Everybody is talking about the grace of favor, but I want to talk about the grace for speed. Remember? <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Remember, Apostle always tells us, he says, these, these are not cunning devised fables to 
earlier, remember when he said, there are people that can be in ministry for 20 years and you can have someone who is submitted to transformation in one year and overtake the person in 20 years. Listen, 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 listen. I now have two businesses. I was, I was homeless and I own, now own my own home. Me and my wife and my mother-in-law, we are now in the process. Listen, in less than in less than 15 months, we are about to build a homeless shelter. And one last thing. One last thing. We are winning souls for Jesus. Hey, this is Koinonia. Who did it? Who did it?